Hi, this is Jim Jardine, Vice President of Sales and Marketing for SunTech, and I'm here with Curtis Park today. Say hi, Curtis. Hello. Curtis is going to be introducing all of us to the wonderful world of Scooty. And uh, what is Scooty? For first off, it is the largest star in our constellation, but also it is a great tool that we be able to use for our partners to upload or do photo flash over the air of configuration files and firmware files. Number one, uh, for all of our partners that would rather have us do the configuration and firmware upgrades, we're able to do that for free of charge and not having to set up a Scooty account for our accounts. If you have a configuration file that you want uploaded for all your devices, a portion of your devices, or would like the latest firmware, just email at info at suntechus.com. For partners that are looking to be able to do this functions themselves, we grant access and set up accounts to Scooty to give access to all of your devices, set up sub-accounts for those devices, and flash and confirm uh, your confirmation file and also your firmware file. So just uh, briefly here, we just want to walk through a couple of those uh, steps to show you and answer some common questions. So uh, Curtis, why don't you take it away? Right. So on the screen, you'll be seeing the dashboard for Scooty. Uh, this would be for a customer account, which we would be providing to you. So on the dashboard, you see how many devices you have, what devices you have, and what portion of that device takes up your total inventory. Uh, right now, there's only one device um, given to this account, so you only see one, and it is a ST4500. So if I go to devices, it will give me a list of all the devices. Uh, it will give me the ESN, IMEI, the last time it actually checked in with the maintenance server. Um, so I can go to clients, so basically, I have all these devices listed, and now I have a client that wants to purchase these devices. Uh, I can create a sub-account uh, for that client. So I would just go to Client, click New new Client, put in all their information, and save it. That creates a client uh, for that, for, uh, that sub-account. Now, if I go back to Devices, I can actually assign that device to that client by going to Assign to Client. And I would just pick the device and pick that client that I want to assign it to. Another thing that Scooty can do is actually update the profiles of devices. So using that profile that I saved on SyncTrack, I go to Profile, New Profile, uh, create a name for that profile, and actually choose that file to upload. Once I do that, it will give me that profile right here and save it on Scooty. This allows me to, going back to devices, actually schedule an update for that profile to that device. So right here, devices, change profile. And if I had added a profile, it, in this drop-down menu, it would give me that option to select it and apply it. So that means once I apply it, uh, the next time the device actually checks in with the maintenance server, it will recognize that there's a scheduled update for it, and change its configuration. Uh, Scooty can also do firmware updates. So if I go to OTA, device OTA, I can actually uh, select any available firmware updates that we um, at Suntech have provided to you for that device and that firmware. So currently my device is has a firmware version 1.0.12. And here I see that 1.0.12 to 1.0.17 is an option. If I want that upgrade, I'll just select it, save it, and just like the profile update, it will schedule an update. So next time the device actually checks in with Scooty, it will recognize that there's a firmware update um, scheduled and start that firmware update. I can also do bulk updates. So if I go to OTA, bulk OTA, uh, I would select the model that I want to do that bulk OTA for, um, the original of those bulk uh, devices, and then what I want it to be. And then now it gives me a list of all of these uh, devices. So I can just pick and then update devices. 
I can also do this for profile updates. So going back to devices, I can go to assign pro profile bulk and then select the profile that I want to update and then select all the devices that I want to update and then add profile. So that means all those devices will have a scheduled update and then once those devices check in with Scooty, they'll begin that update, whether it's for profile or uh, firmware. I can also create users. So uh, before I created a client sub account or a client, by creating a user, I can give them a login information so that they can log into Scooty themselves and see just their um, <coughs> devices and they can do profile or firmware updates if they want. Um, and the last thing, to make things easier, I can create groups. So what this means is that um, I can separate devices into separate groups so that if I only want to look at group one, uh, I would create group one, assign devices to that group, and then just look at group one by selecting group one. If I want to do group two, I would do the same thing. And if you go back to devices, you can see that there's a filter by group, a drop-down menu. If I had a group created, then it would be available there and filter out every uh, device that's in that group. That's about the basics of Scooty. Uh, just go to Jim now. Thanks, Curtis. Um, so I think we covered most of the common questions that I get from my account. So number one, um, all of the firmwares and the configuration files are sent and set from the manufacturer when I place the order. So the first question is, let's say I get 3,000 devices of the 4,500 into my warehouse, but I want to have um, 100 of those that I'm going to sell to uh, Fred's uh, auto towing shop. Can I do a sub-account out of my 3,000 for 100 devices for Fred's auto towing account? And the answer that you showed us, Curtis, is yes. Right. Um, so once they have that instance, then they can be able to do their own firmware and also configuration files. Or once again, SunTech provides free of charge all of these services directly to all of our partners and subs if they send information on it directly to info at suntechus.com. Another uh, question that we talked about is uh, the updating of the devices themselves. So, Curtis, the device, once it's plugged in, it will automatically connect to our server and download? Yeah, devices by default are supposed to check into Scooty once every 24 hours. Okay, perfect. Um, and then also it seems like you have here a manuals and software version question here as well, too. Mm -hmm. um, is that where people would find out about firmware updates? Uh, manuals and software, yes, we, we normally put... Um, such as user manuals or user guides, and as well as release notes okay. for each firmware, so that you know, do I want to update to this firmware or not? Okay. And the other one which I get, which is very easy, is is this service free of charge? And the answer is yes. Uh, with SunTech, with our SyncTrack and Scooty applications, they are free of charge to our, our partners. Um, Curtis, just really quickly, you've probably have done hundreds of these deployments with some of our partners uh, with Scooty. What are some of the other common questions that you get back from our partners uh, that you think would be interesting to them to hear today? Um, I do think I went through most of them, uh, most of the questions that they have. Um, I guess the biggest thing would be how would I know the last time the device actually checked in or what it, what it actually checked in for. So on this devices page, uh, like I mentioned before, that the last communication. So that would say the last time the device actually checked in with Scooty. So maybe you want to know, oh, was it just a regular, um, just a regular check-in, or was there an error, or some more specific detail? So if you go to view full details of that device, it will give you all of this description. Um, and then if you keep scrolling down, there's things like status OTA, which is um, is your OTA still requesting? Is it completed? Uh, last MNT interaction, there's also the actual string that the Scooty received. So if there's, if it's just a regular update, it would be an MNT report. 
maybe there was an error. There's a ERR report. So you can go more specifically into that. And as well as the first time that the uh, device actually checked in with Scooty, this is under first MNT interaction. And as well as warranty information, all the way at the bottom. So thanks, Curtis. Another one I think you touched on a little bit. Is there any other uh, reporting tools that some of your uh, partners have questions about for reporting or anything else that you would want to discuss about reporting? Um, yeah, so there's different types of reports that device sends to Scooty uh, for maintenance report. Like I mentioned, that MIT report, ERR report. Um, that's more detailed on our user manuals. Um, so I would look more into that uh, if you have questions on that. Okay, perfect. Uh, overall, any other uh, feedback that you'd like to give about uh, Scooty uh, there, Curtis? Uh, just I would just say Scooty is pretty straightforward to use. It's not very difficult. Um, it's, if you need profile or firmware updates, this is the tool to use. Perfect, Curtis. Well, we really appreciate the time here today. Um, thank you so much for taking this quick overview of Scooty. As always, if you have any other questions, feel free to contact us at info at suntechus.com. Thank you so much and have a great day.